The Cobra Class 26 runs on industrial thread cones. The thread cone wants to pay the thread out off of the top. So we use an industrial thread cone tree or thread stand. To load the thread stand, what we're going to do is set the cone over the pin and make sure that it's seated completely flat, flush across the bottom. Take the thread and feed it through the little grommet at the top of the pan from the back of the machine towards the operation. At this point, the thread stand is now threaded. Okay, so we're going to come to the uh, tension post here. It's got four little holes in it, so depending on how you lace it up, you can make all kinds of really aggressive tension. It just depends on the needs that you have in your pretension. So spiraling around will provide a ton of friction, okay? Or you could go in a really straight line which is going to provide a medium tension. And last but not least, you could just go straight through and provide virtually no tension. Okay, so the next thing, you're going to come down and go in through this little eye and then in between these two discs here in a clockwise direction. After it comes out, you can go over and across the top so from here you're going clockwise, you want to make sure that the thread gets all the way into the center. And then the same kind of thing here, across the top in a counterclockwise direction and pull it so that it gets all the way to the center of the tension device. And then you want to bring it up and over this little pin here. Okay. Up and over. If I could get my hands in there. So that it goes over and then down. Now the next thing that from this side is in between these two tension discs here. See, in between, and then down the other side, and then up. So there's a little pin right there in the back, and what you want to do is pull up, and it's going to automatically flip to the other side. And now it's underneath the take-up spring. Bring it up, go through this guide here, and then up to the take-up lever. Back through the same guide, now down to this little guide here, in through the side again, through the felt wiper, and then down to the guide just above the needle on the needle bar, and then into the needle. So we would want to go in from the operator's left to the operator's right. This thread is for demonstration purposes too big, so I'm going to thread it real quick with the smaller thread. They pop. Okay, so now that we've got a normal size thread, we go from the operator's left through the eye to the operator's right, take out all the slack, and then the last step is that we want the needle thread to go through the foot, back and away toward the one o'clock position. Done. Click it.